Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Gauss theorem at Regium. This is one of the most beautiful theorems in, in the Gauss variable. G. Which means a truly remarkable theorem. And it always gets this, it says, the Gaussian curvature is invariant, means preserved, local sub the two surfaces have the first uh, first fundamental form, the coefficients of the first fundamental form are the same, under a differential mapping, right? And the first mental form. Beautiful. Okay. And so what we're going to do is the following. So let's let's. R of U B be the parameterization S. Then move and then know that R U U V is equal to R U V U, right? By the quality mixed derivatives, right? So I'm going to express this in terms of the Christoffel symbols as so well, that told me that tells me that gamma of one 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 R U plus gamma one one two R V plus L and hat, that is the R U U term, the V derivative of this has to be equal to the U derivative of this expression, gamma one two one R U plus gamma one two two R V plus M and hat the derivative of this with respect to u. Cool. And when we are doing this equation over here, unlike the kodazi maynardi equations, I'm going to equate the coefficients of r u. So equate the coefficients of r u, like that. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand out this whole thing. Remember, gamma 1, 1, 1. I'm going to have a v derivative of that. That's our term. I'm going to have a u derivative of this term over here. That's going to be an r u term. I'm going to have r v terms over here. The r v terms over here are going to be a gamma 1, 1, 2, a v. And then a gamma minus gamma 1, 2, 2, u. r v terms over there. I have an L, L, V minus M, U. Those are my N hat terms. Equal to, I'm going to throw all the second derivative terms over here, right? So we're going to have a gamma, gamma 1, 2, 1, R, U, U. We're going to have a plus gamma 1, 2, 2 minus gamma, minus gamma 1, 1, gamma 1, 1, 1, R, U, V. And then finally over here, where's the V term? So we're going to let this get minus actually. So minus proves minus these get the one, one, two, R, uh, V, V terms. And then the NU term over here, right? So we have a plus L, N, V, and then a, oh, it's going to be a minus actually. So I know I actually make sense and they cancel out. And then a plus M, N, U. Okay. Excellent. And so now, that's going to be great. And so I'm going to expand up this left hand side. So if I expand up the left hand side, what's going to happen? Left hand side has been equal to what? Been in gamma 1, 2, 1, and then the gamma 1, 1, 1 RU plus gamma 1, 1, 2 RV plus what? Plus an L and hat. Beautiful. And a plus gamma 1, 2, 2 minus gamma 1, 1, 1. And then the gamma one, two, where mark gamma two, one R U, plus gamma one, two, two R V, plus M and at, minus gamma one, one, two, and then the gamma two, two, one R U, plus gamma two, two, two R V, plus N and hat, like that. And then minus N, so when we recall, here's an important thing to recall, 
to pull that and mu and u is equal to negative a r u minus b r v and and then v hat is negative c r u minus d r v right where this matrix over here a c b d is negative the first fundamental form inverse the second fundamental form like so right that's the y inverted matrix beautiful all right and so now we're in a position to our coefficients right so now of course the coefficients of r is going to bless so over here i'm going to be able to conclude that gamma one 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 v minus gamma one two one u what the coefficient r over here is gamma one two one gamma one 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 and then plus gamma one two two minus gamma one 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 times the quantity gamma one two one so we get some cancellation right there then over here the coefficient is going to be a minus gamma one one two gamma two two one and then over here we're going to have a negative so that it's going to be negative m what so the m uh the m is going to be so negative ma so negative a m and then a plus cl plus cl like this and so this equation over here relates to this it's a, it's a true over here. Now let's figure out. So for cool things to happen, we can simplify this a little bit because this is going to be equal to what? This one equal to gamma. This of course, this term over here is going to cancel with this term over here. So I have a gamma one two two times gamma one two one minus gamma one one two gamma two two one minus a. Then we have minus a. M plus CL, so what those things are, right? So what is my A, C, B matrix gonna be, right? It's gonna be the first fundamental form inverse. That's gonna be a one over E, G minus F squared. And then a G, E, negative F, negative F times L, M, M, N, right? So I care about the A, in terms of the first entry for this is gonna be a one over E G minus F squared, and then times what? Times a version G L minus F M. So G L minus F M over here. And then what? And then irrelevant down because that's my B term. My C term is going to be what? My C term is going to be G M minus F M. G M minus F and over here, irrelevant over here. Okay. And so it's filling those things over here. Now, carefully, let's do this. So then we have a plus C L. So it's going to be a plus C. So my C term over here is going to be this thing over here, probably with a negative sign up to a negative sign. So that's my, yep. All right, and so I need a negative in front of all these things over here. We'll do it at the very end, right? So negative, negative. Keep the signs in the right order, right? So I just flip those things. So I have a CL, what C times L be? C times L is going to be L times this expression over here, GM minus FN over e g minus f squared and then minus a times m is going to be minus m times what minus m times this quantity over here which is going to be g l minus f m over e g minus f squared over here and now what's going to happen here so we have a glm positive over here and a glm negative over here those are going to cancel out and we have a factor of f times gl minus m squared so this whole expression over here is equal to what is equal to gamma one two two gamma one two one minus gamma one one two gamma two two one and these expressions over here simplify to what there's a factor of so those are there's a factor of f in common so that's going to be a plus f or the, it's going to be all of this is minus so minus f i'm going to pull that out of both those things then I have an ln minus m squared over e g minus f squared, right? And what's that expression over there? That's exactly the Gaussian curvature, right? So this expression over here is just k over here. That's k. So we've just shown over here the following. We've just shown this is a correction over here. So we have that gamma 1, 1, 1, v minus gamma 1, 2, 1, u is equal to what? It's equal to gamma one two two gamma one two one minus gamma one one two gamma 
two, two, one, and then minus what? And then the last terms over here, so we have those terms, we have minus f times k, minus f times k, right? This expression over here, we know the Christoffel symbols only depend on the coefficients of the first fundamental formal, right? In terms of e, f, g, and then e, u, f, u, and g, u, e, v, f, v, and g, v. So those Christoffel symbols only depend on the first fundamental form. So this says that k only depends on the first fundamental form. So k only depends on, what does k depend on? k depends on e, f, g, e, u, f, u, g, u, e, v, f, v, g, v, and that tells you what? That means that if two surfaces have the same first fundamental form, then the Gaussian curvature has to be the same. In other words, isometry means it has the same first fundamental form. So if you have a local isometry, E, F, G have to be the same for those surfaces. E, U, F, U, G, U, E, V, F, V, G, V have to be the same for those surfaces. So the Gaussian curvature, since it only depends on those quantities, has to, in other words, has the same exactly representation in terms of for Stoffel symbols, has to be the same for both surfaces. And that is the Arima or the truly remarkable theorem, Gauss. Thank you very much.